In this video, we got a small sound bar with some big sound right after this. What's up everyone? This is your boy El Jefe, and I'm back here to show you this sound bar that is surprisingly good for the price. So what I've got here is the Blitzwolf SDB1 36 inch sound bar. So this sound bar runs you right around $89.99, both on amazon.com and banga.com. On amazon.com, there's a $15 off coupon. So all you gotta do is click that little box and it'll apply that coupon right at checkout. And for my Banggood guys, if you guys are gonna order this on Banggood, I've got a 20% off discount code right down in the description box below. So make sure you guys check that out. Now, before we go any further and for full disclosure, Blitzwolf reached out to me, sent over this sound bar free of charge for my honest opinion and review. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and dive right in. Now, this is usually where I give you guys the unboxing. Unfortunately, because of the size of this, it's a little bit too big for my unboxing table, obviously, and I don't have a wide enough angle lens on my phone to capture the whole thing. So let me just give you guys a basic rundown of what comes in the box. So out of the box, you get the sound bar itself, along with the small remote, the full instruction manual, your AC power cord, and two audio cables, one optical and one 3.5 millimeter male to a RCA male. Everything comes packaged really nicely. They put a decent amount of styrofoam inside the box and everything to protect it. So I didn't have any issues with uh, having any problems with it right out of the box. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys a quick sound test. First up, we're gonna have the TV just playing my video without the sound bar hooked up, just so you guys can hear what it sounds like without the sound bar. What's up everyone? This is your boy El Jefe, and I'm back with a video that has taken way too long to make. And by that I mean I had to wait for these freaking headphones to come in from China, and I ordered them like a month ago. And it's been taking forever for these to come in, but they have finally arrived. Alright, so let's switch over to the soundbar. What's up everyone? This is your boy El Jefe, and I'm back with a video that has taken way too long to make. And by that I mean I had to wait for these freaking headphones to come in from China, and I ordered them like a month ago. And it's been taking forever for these to come in, but they have finally arrived. So as you guys can hear, the sound gets much better, at least I hope you guys can hear it. The sound gets way better, much clearer on the highs and the mids, much more volume to it, much more richness and tone. And then there's also bass, you know, on this particular TV, whenever the bass hits, say on my intro music, the speakers just crackle. And on this one, you can actually hear the bass. So it's pretty cool. All right, so let's get into some of the pros and cons on the Blitzwolf SDB1. So first up, and obviously the most important thing, is gonna be the sound quality. Now, for a sound bar of this size, especially for one that doesn't have a subwoofer, the sound is excellent. You've got six full range drivers plus two radiators. So compared to the built-in speakers on my TV, the sound you're getting out of this, the full range, the, you know, from people talking, you know, on TV shows, or if you're watching a movie with a lot of action and stuff like that, the improvement, I, I can barely even put it into words. Now, mind you, we're talking a soundbar here that's under a hundred bucks. So it's not gonna blow you away by any means, but it is surprisingly good what you can get for this price. I also like the fact that they have four built-in sound modes. So you got news, you've got music, movie, and sports. Now for regular TV watching, for the most part, we just leave it on movie mode. Um, you know, it gives us the best balance, you know, of sound with the highs and if there's any action or anything going on on the screen, you get nice deep lows. So we usually leave it on that mode. That's our preferred sound mode. Another plus you get is all the different connectivity. You've got the HDMI arc, which I was pretty surprised to see. Optical, 3.5 millimeter, and you can Bluetooth into it. So a lot of versatility there. You know, and then coming in at 36 inches, you know, if you're not running a massive home theater system, you know, if you've got just like a TV in your room or in a small study, or even if you want to use it, say, for speakers for like a computer desk setup, something like this would be perfect because it's actually pretty compact and it has, a you know, multiple ways of uh, connecting into it. 
and it provides great sound, good balanced sound. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's good for what it is. And then lastly, you've got the value of it. I mean, it's kind of hard to beat. So we're talking $89.99 at full retail, whether you buy it on Banggood or Amazon. Like I said before, there's links in the description, but with a 20% discount code or $15 off, it puts this thing right under $75 either way you go. So, I mean, that's really hard to pass up. There's a lot of other sound bars that are in this price range that don't sound nearly as good. Okay, so now let's get into some of the uh, cons of this product. Uh, hold on up. I'll, I'll be right back. Actually, you know what? Hey, Travis. Hey, Jeff. Uh, I gotta get the door, man. Can you go ahead and take over for me real quick? Of course, man. I'll help you out. No problem. What up, players? It's Travis MCP back. I'm gonna help out Jeff. He had to go do something. Not really sure what. I also got a Blitzwolf. Well, actually, I didn't get one. I went to Jeff's house and I stole it. You don't think he'll see this part, do you? The only thing I could really find wrong with it was that it didn't have a lot of bass. And you know me, I love bass. It doesn't even have an output for a subwoofer. So I guess the problem is if you really want a lot of bass, you're kind of just stuck with what it is. So for music, if you're just looking for some real nice head knocking music, um, you're only gonna get a certain amount of sound out of it, but it is really good. It's very hard to sit here and look at this device. It's under hundred dollars and really kind of nitpick at it. It's really a very solid, solid, solid device. But yeah, if you're a bass head like me, uh, you might want to look for a uh, combination uh, sound bar with a subwoofer separately. But I'm going to tell you, you're going to pay a lot more than the under $100 that the Blitzwolf is. So to be honest, um, I think it's a great value. So I haven't done a great job of giving you any kind of negatives because I like this thing a lot and I'm not giving it back to Jeff. So I think he's back. Don't tell him anything I said about the taking of his stuff. Can that just be between me and you? See you later. Uh, all right. Anybody see where I put that sound bar? No, oh, we'll worry about that later. So all in all, I'm actually really happy with this sound bar. So for personal use, we're actually gonna end up putting this probably in the bedroom, uh, paired up with you know a small 40 inch TV that we have in there. It'll fit perfectly right under that thing and give us great sound. Cause right now there's no sound bar or speakers hooked up to it. And one of the speakers in that TV sounds a little rattly. So we're gonna put that on there. I'm really liking the crystal clear sound, or if we just wanna to listen to music, we can Bluetooth to it, you know, with our phones, listen to some tunes. Um, so yeah, I mean, for, for a small room, for uh, a bedroom or like a small office, or like I said before, a desk setup, this sound bar is perfect. 36 inches, great clear sound, different music modes. And not only that, it comes in at an unbeatable price. So yeah, if you're in the market for a small sound bar that's not gonna break the bank, then you should absolutely check out the Blitzwolf SDB1. You can find it both on Amazon and on Banggood. And like I said before, and for the third time, the links to that right down in the description box below, along with the discount code. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this review right here. Just wanna give a special shout out to my boy Travis for coming through and helping me out. If you guys haven't heard of his channel yet, check out Travis MCP. I'm gonna leave a link to his channel right down in the description box below and also in the end card. You'll see his face pop up over there as well. And as usual, let me know what you guys think of this soundbar. Do you guys have a different soundbar you're using that you think would be better than this one or something that maybe I should try out? Let me know. Sound off in the comment section. If you have any questions or comments, I'm actually using this soundbar on a daily basis. So go ahead and hit me up in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And as always, if you guys like this video, go ahead and smash that like button. If you didn't like this video, go ahead and hit the dislike button. That's totally cool too. And if you haven't done so already, consider hitting that subscribe button along with that small notification bell. This way you never miss any of my weekly videos. So with all that being said, I hope everyone has a great week and I will see you guys in my next video.